Hey guys, this is Skeets. Um, I have a new website, um, love to vibe dot, uh, pt. Um, and uh, well, this is my first uh, English video um, for this uh, website. Um, I've got a lot on my mind right now, so it's going to be a, a bit long video, but I think you guys are going to enjoy this. And I'm here to talk to you about uh, our. I am one of the testers uh, of the Icarus, as you can see here. So, um, my main opinion on this will be based on the beta um, that was sent to me. Uh, as you know, this will not be... Uh, well, there are some points where the, the Icarus um, has some flaws, but they will be solved. Uh, I already talked to Twilight Vapor about, about all the, the problems that I found on this um, and I will talk you guys, uh, I'll guide you guys to those, uh, to those points um, I will not be making, um, well, a wig for this I do think that you guys already know how to make your own mesh if you don't, uh, go, to, go to Scott's videos, I get you 69 um, that guy has some great tutorials on making your uh, your Genesis wig, so to say. Um, so I will not be making a wig for this. I'm going to make a video on, on how to make um, a stainless steel mesh uh, work, uh, but it will be in in Portuguese uh, because making making it in two languages will be well very tiring. Um, so let's take a closer look at this. Uh, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, uh, so this uh, is the Icarus uh, disassembled. Uh, this is basically it. This is the the body fully fully disassembled of the beta version. I gotta say this once again. This is the beta version of the Icarus. Um, so let's talk a little bit. About, about what we have here. Uh, first of all, to take it out of the picture, uh, I will be, will be using some 183650 um, batteries. They are AMR. I drain, let's say it like that. My English is a little bit stuck. These are 700 milliamp hour batteries. So this is the 18, um, 1850, 18. Come on, 18,350, come on, excuse me about that. Um, so this is the top cap of the tank, as you guys can see there. Uh, there will be uh, a drip tip uh, for this, but it can take uh, all of the, the drip tips from 510 that you can pretty much find on the market. First issue on the beta version is that uh, only some uh, drip tips would uh, fit this. This is the one, only one I had that fit well quite snugly in there, um, as you can see. But if I have another one here, like this, well, also fits, but as you guys can see, kind of wiggles a little bit. Uh, let me see if I have another one. This one. This is a, a Chinese-made Ming a ceramic drip tip. Well, it doesn't even, I don't think I changed the O-ring, but it doesn't quite fit there. Uh, but this one, you guys probably know it. And well, this one fits a little bit better, but as you can see, there's, uh, well, there's too much room in here, but this is, Betas. These are. These are. This is for what betas are for. Um, so this is the top cap. Uh, all of the parts will be brushed. Uh, so there's no. It's not polished. Will be brushed. Um, the hole here. It's gonna be just a little bit higher um, than it is right now. About one millimeter. One one and a half millimeters uh, higher. Um, so it, well, it fits a little bit better, so the the hole will be 
uh, pointing to the center of the of the coil. Uh, so the, it's a one millimeter wide uh, hole for the airflow here. So this is the main design. One other thing that we noticed, uh, the testers noticed, is that um, when you build your uh, your stainless steel mesh, uh, if you get uh, these, these again are problems on the beta. I can I can uh, say much more, but these are issues with the beta. These will not this these um, types of problems will not be uh, on the final the, the version that you are getting it at your house. Um, the problem was if you made your um, your wick your stainless steel stainless steel um, wick. Uh, a little bit higher, well, the same height or a little bit higher than your center post, uh, the mesh would touch the, um, the top part inside there because it's not a straight line. It's, um, well, I don't know how you say it, it's not a straight line, as you can see there, and it would touch. So this will be solved on the, on the final versions. Um, here, is the this is plexiglass tank? Uh, I had a Pyrex tank. Mine was the one that broke uh, because the O rings were not made uh, well. This 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 part of the tank was not made to um, to Pyrex. Uh, this was uh, an idea that I vapor had uh, along the way, and I tried to f to fit uh, some O rings in here. But uh, when I inserted the, the Pyrex tank, well, just broke in half. So I'm pretty happy with the plexiglass one because, well, can almost uh, put a, a hammer to it because it won't break. And I'm always dropping things. Um, so this is the tank. Now, this part right here, let me just grab a little something so I can point. Uh, not here. Let me just unscrew this. So here you have a, a spring. Let me see if I can just light. Shh, put some wine in here. Uh, this will have a, a spring that will catch the res your resistance. This is a spring right here. You can place one point. Uh, well, a little piece of the con of the control wiring here. Um, th these will be replaced by poles. This, 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 like I said, it's not the final version because all we have right now are, are a couple of screws um, right here. This is the filling hole right there. Now it's closed because um, I, I went to iVapor's house and we tried to open a little bit of threading there, um, but well, the little tool uh, broke inside. Well, no matter. Uh, I will use one one mesh, so no issues there. I fill I fill the tank with the, the other the other hole. You can build um, two coils right here, so it can be a dual coil. No issues there. Um, this is all stainless steel. I hope you guys can see this inside there. So the initial idea was to use. Um, a spring uh, that would make contact with the positive uh, part of the battery but the spring was not uh, well it's not the quality because it would pass current through this the spring would heat up yeah, would, well heat up and uh, melt it well it collapsed uh, the the spring itself this is another spring that I that I found but on the final version this will be uh, a screw right here. So no more uh, spring related issues um, because you, well, the kick, this is the kick uh, tube or adapter if you want. You can place the kick inside there, uh, grab your battery. Um, this will screw on here. Well, I'm gonna leave this for a little bit later on. Um, and talk to you guys about it, but but the kick doesn't like these springs, so it's going to be replaced for by a screw, and that's it. Uh, so this is the battery, this is the tank. So now we have uh, two 
choices on the body of the mod itself. One, it's a full um, stainless steel one. Once again, these will be brushed um, and we have the, the carbon sleeve here. So these are the main choices. These are both 18350 um, tubes. You will have the 18500, 18490, whatever uh, tube available uh, if you want. Uh, and this is basically it. This, like I said, it's the tube uh, where you can place the kick inside. Um, it fits either. Let me just assemble this in a little bit. Well, let's talk about the button and assemble it later. Uh, the button, it's going to be changed a little bit um, because this, uh, I don't know how to call this, well, the, the ring that makes, makes the lock will be a little bit wider. So you have, you don't need to go all the way, well, almost a minute screwing that up. Um, well, it's, it's going to be a little bit wider. Uh, so, it, well, you don't need all, the, all this uh, um, space between the button. The button, it's not, uh, it has a 45 degree angle, so it won't uh, hurt your fingers while you're activating it. Um, it's, well, it's very, very soft. Um, it has, you can disassemble it. I'm not going to do it because uh, I probably would mess it up. Um, but you can uh, disassemble it by removing this uh, I don't know, don't know how you call this, but uh, if you remove this, let me see if the camera would focus there. If you remove this, you can pretty much disassemble the button. So no issues there for, um, well, replace a spring or whatever. Um, so this is basically it. Putting it together to see how it looks. Let me just pop in the tank right here. A little bit of PG just so it can fit a little bit better. Just almost. Almost in place. And there we go. This is the tank. This is the top cap. You just grab battery tube. can pop the battery inside there and you place the button. Okay, this is the unlocked position. If you want, just to lock it, just place it like this and it won't activate. It's pretty much, it's real smooth. I do enjoy this button because it doesn't hurt you when you, when you press it. Uh, so pretty cool, pretty cool design on the button there. So pretty easy just to to activate this. If you have a kick or you're planning on buying a kick for this, I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Let me just carefully, don't want to ruin it. This is the look of the Icarus with the kick carbon sleeve. Now let's change the sleeve for the full. This one is a little bit heavier still not that heavy. Another issue that's going to be solved on the, on the version that, you're, that most of you guys are getting, it's this. Uh, you have a space, right, a spacing right here. Well, you can see it perfect, perfectly. This uh, had an angle. On the far, final version, there won't be any angle. So this will pretty much line up all together and you, well, you probably won't gonna see any type of uh, separation between the tubes. So it's gonna be like an invisible um, thing going on here. Um, this is basically it. So this is the looks of the Icarus full, uh, full stainless steel. This is how it looks with the kick. Now let's remove the kick extension right here and just place it 
It's a little hard with threads. Okay, so this is the Icarus without uh, the kick and full stainless steel. So this is basically it. Like I said, I'm not going to teach you guys uh, how to make um, a Genesis uh, wig for this. I do think and I do believe that uh, um, Scott does a great job there. He has much more practice than I do. Um, so you guys go on his on his channel and look out for for the videos, uh, the Orion review and so on, um, because. There are tutorials there. Like I said, there are some issues with this. Uh, my button is not even laser marked. That there will be the logo uh, of Drop Mods right here. Um, this is a beta version. It's not the version that. Well, it's almost the version that uh, the customers will uh, will be having, but it's not really really the final. Uh, because all of the mistakes, let's say mistakes, um, that were made, some things that we noticed while trying will be fixed on the on the version, on the commercial, commercial uh, version of the Icarus. So this is basically it. Um, I'm going to place my coil in here, drop some juice and see how it vibes. So I'll see you guys uh, right next. So guys, that was the Icarus, um, the different parts that it has, whoops, almost dropped it. Um, it's really good to be beta testing um, this device because even on in beta, it works real, real good. Uh, it's, it's small, like, well, my hand is bigger than this can pretty much hide it wherever I want. Um, it's small. It has its, its issues. We already talked about them. I'm not an expert on making uh, Genesis Wix, uh, well, working on mesh, uh, but I think it, it fits really good. Keep in mind, I'm not going to talk to you guys about uh, throat hit, uh, flavor, well, those vapor production, because the Genesis uh, by itself, it's, um, it's a device, and the Icarus is a device, so the throat hit will, will be directly dependent on the, the kind of juice that you're putting inside here. So. If you put uh, 10 milligram, it will be weaker than 18 milligram. Um, the PGVG ratio, um, well, all of that, you guys already know that. Um, if you ask me, um, what do I sense, though? do I notice some kind of difference between Genesis type, not an expert here, uh, Genesis type and dripping? I did notice on this device that uh, the vapor was a bit colder. Again, I am not a, an expert on doing this. Um, it's a cool device, well, almost flawless. We are working, we, iVapor is working to make it flawless, um, but it's a great, um, well, light device. Um, you have lots of options on batteries. You get the, you can get the 18350. You can get uh, 18490 or 18500 um, in here. Uh, you also get the the tube for the kit that I already showed you guys. Um, so it's pretty much a wonderful device. Very good looking device. Um, stealth device also. So it's pretty great. I do enjoy this. Mm. Well, for this juice, I can say it's faithful to its flavoring. Um, 
got a little bit of juice on my hands here, nothing major. Uh, one thing that I noticed is that um, I need to clean my hands, but that's not what I noticed. What I noticed is that um, it's pretty much a, a, a light button, a light, a light touch, you can almost activate it by, by its own weight, as you can see there. As you can see, it's working really, really good. So this is my main view of the Icarus. I hope you guys can enjoy one of these uh, pretty soon. Um, visit the website, follow me on Facebook, um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks once again. This is Keats, signing off.